Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with the Middle Earth Project Mod. And we are making. We're on a money making business right now. So it is gonna be boring. War is not really on our agenda. Um, mainly because, well, there is not really much to war against. Um, see this guy? Why aren't you. Oh, right, because you cannot create a kingdom. I was for a second. Why, can, why, why aren't you not a kingdom yet? You probably could kick this guy's ass. Oh, oh no, it's encroaching in size. I might need to placate her. Hmm. Okay. Because she is growing in power. Mordor is not that close to us, so... Let's start a little bit of focus on Arnor. And you're like, you've got your capital in the wilderness. My dear, are you making any money whatsoever? Oh, she's losing a lot of money. Hmm. Actually, she's... Yeah, she is. She's dropping cash. She's in half health. Well, it needs to get a lot of health with the Numenor blood. Oh my god, she's gonna go old. And... Big war happening. Frame rate, really shit. Always fighting. Mordor is. Okay, so Mordor finally decided that it is time to kick the shit. Out of Arnor. So we're gonna live with the crappy frame rate. Which is really shit. Is it? Oh, I hate it. But we are building a forge. It's really bad, the frame rate, really. It's, um. Ugh, it's so terrible. I, I like the fact that the mouse is like, ah, oh, no problem, you know? I'm still gonna go at 60 FPS because it's an, it's it's not it's a hardware accelerated mouse, not a software, which would be kind of shit if it were software. But the rest of the game is. so slow. So slow. Well, you gotta work with what you've got, I presume. Don't worry, I'm not lagging. Anyway, um, my my brain perhaps is, but the game isn't. No, the game is, but not the out audio. <sighs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And Mortal One, that should really increase the frame rate again. These are short freaking skirmishes, to be honest. Ah, crap. Arna must have realized really soon that this would be a suicide mission. Thing is, though, she was supposed to be a little bit of my protection. Oh my god, she dropped significantly. What did you lose, my dear? You lost this. How strong was this? Not, not at all. My dear, my dear, my dear. Oh, my dear. These are actually some pretty good runes, apparently. This is a great city. Hm. It seems the world is slowly falling to orcs. Gundabad, however, is still surviving. Hey, they don't burn on me. <laughs> yeah! I'm shit. Oh, these forges, how long did they get to build? In three, what? Yeah, three years. Holy shit. It doesn't say how long it takes to build. Huh. Well, three years. I think at the same time we... Earn 14.3 times 12. It's 140 plus 28 is... It's 143, I mean, plus... Um, 28.6. That is... Um, 60, 71.3. 171.3 every year, that means in three years... Oh, I hate doing math. Uh, is... 
to 334 400 it's 510 I think I gotta give me mine in my phone for this because I can okay so it was 510 I think um, how far am I off calculator so that means that we're gonna do 14.3 times 12 is 171.6 so it was close times 3 is 514 so I was really close I was doing a very rough calculation I'm proud of myself so it takes, it takes nearly three years for us to get this kind of cash so that means when this forge is done we can build the next one and I really hope that improves our money issues. I think after that we're gonna up the great routes because they are still cheaper. Um, well, the dwellings could give four. This gives one, so the dwellings technically are cheaper. Um, what did the roads give us else? Influence, levy reinforcement rates, and a little bit of tax. Hmm. See, does this guy have this level 3 Dwarven Forges? No, there we go. No, he hasn't, but he is upgrading his barracks. Hmm. I do like the Thorin's Gate thing stuff, though. Um, how are we over here? We can upgrade cavalry, but we're going for light infantry, which we can... It costs 400. Hmm. Shipbuilding will be kind of useless, because we cannot even build ships. We don't even have a province that goes as an edge to water. So, I'm really... I'm looking forward to finishing these forges. I just want to see how much money it just got to put in uh, in the monthly balance. This might be a little bit boring to watch, and I'm really sorry for it, but it just cements the uh, our, our future of, of, of our kingdom, because we can should really start snowballing in expenses, uh, and money should no, no longer be a problem. Oh, and I've got some hot dwarven tea. Which is just English tea, but well, whatever. <laughs> For the sake of the let's play, we call it Dwarven Tea. Hey, that's the Dwarven Tea. That's the best. So yeah, let's go with our second forges. Um. Okay. When are you finished? fifth month of this year okay so we're going from 14.44 that means that some other guys are doing upgrades which I really like keep going keep going the more money we make the more the happier your king will be your soon-to-be king Jesus Christ these cities I really want more of them 15 point something 20 20 Jesus. 15, you're in a new city. Wow. Wow. We're close. Should be done by now. Okay, um, we need a month to take. So we're at... F okay. Is that, is that only half? The only thing we got? Eh. Presume it's worth it. Is in a year's time half a ducat makes us about six six ducats in total. Ugh. Fine. It's not that much, but it's you know, it's it's an improvement, it's an improvement, it's an improvement. Gondor's capital is right there. Is this a great city? No, it's just it's shit. Gondor's capital is a ruin. They probably moved their capital over there, um just to be safe. So Gondor, so these are not even wars of Mordor. Small factions within Mordor are, you know, being um, 
Well, how, 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 how do I want to call it? Um, gutsy enough to start kicking the shit out of Condor. This is really bad. Fangorn is still alive, though. I'm surprised. I am surprised. Lothlorien miss is get, got smaller. Gladria lost this here. Tuxin County Capital. Angmar is stuck between a rock and a hard place because they're. Let's see. Angmar. Um, your total levy is 20,000. Gundabat, your total levy is 37,000. So, yeah, this guy has can only expand into Loskoth, and your total levy should be shit 500. <laughs> So they are, if they want to expand, they can, but then they get closer to other stuff that they really don't want to. And I think they don't want to risk a war because reasons. Two and a half thousand. Oh. Revendell should, well, I presume, be nearly impossible to, to conquer. Ford level 8.7. <laughs> yeah, like I said, nearly impossible to conquer. Okay. Um... What were we? Yes, we were looking at the inner fortifications. So we can go to large dwellings bigger. Three. Wow, we can go forges one level higher. Takes. What? I just said, I. There was no way to see how long it takes. It's behind the building thing. I'm an idiot. And 100 and. 1915 days because I'm, I just want to check this real quick that is I don't think I'm going to be brilliant because I'm going to do it um, with a calculator um, divided by 365 it's five years and two and a half months give or take uh, no five years and three months um, good. It's still Aragorn. I thought I got a course to eat a cookie instead of kitchen. The cookie apologizes for the times and often be a cookie as an apology for being a person. Uh, I suppose I've cynical comments about how the cookie was trying to poison me with baked goods. Probably spoke out loud. So I'm stop being cynical. It's a promise I won't be able to hold, but I won't disturb him anymore. So my intrigue goes up, but my general opinion goes down. Hey, Well, I'm slowly increasing my intrigue, because I really don't want to fucking get poisoned. That would be kind of annoying. Wouldn't one agree? What's the difference between grey, blue, these borders here. I'm, I'm wondering. This, this is grey, this is blue. Green is directly owned by me. What means... Oh, um, I'm an idiot. These are directly below me, yes. And this guy is not a direct vast because he's under my king. I actually want him dead. What happens if I kill him? I can't. Because I'm shit at killing people. For fuck's sake. Seems though, at, at the time we are making money, we could nearly keep going continuously in the upgrades. And we're just waiting for it to finish. I might do a special at the end of this session where I play for about two hours. And the only thing I will be doing is upgrading our realm and I'll record the entire thing of course but I'll um, narrow it down to about a 10 minute video um, so um, you know completely sped up because I realized that um, keeping um, watching me just you know trying to gain the strength and first in first case the money Oh, this is actually a good thing. Um, we really need to jump on this immediately. 
perhaps we can usurp the title of this. We cannot, uh, unless you have a strong claim, that means uh, we have no claim to it. We merely need to possess it. Anyway, um, so we might have a little bit of inner warfare if we can get this dipshit. The heir is within the family. Mm -hmm. And fortifications have been built in Farkaldum. The Dwarven Forges have been done. We're now 15.2. And large dwelling galleries. The four right now we gain plus two. Right. Use it. That means we're gonna be broke for a while. That should fix itself real quick. So we're at 15.5 now. Well, that's actually quite good. Um, I wonder how far we can upgrade the, the forge. <laughs> I really do. Um, so we can, if we're out of debt, declare war on this guy. Um, how much troops do you've got? Uh, you're not under. You're at this guy. You've got 624 against my 12,000. 9,000. Seems uh, we are shit. 5,000 minus 12. He's still at 4.4. 4. He's increasing in strength, and we aren't. Request it. After a hundred years, the realm, the district of is no longer considered the part of the kingdom of blah. What? Uh, wait, where? The district of Siragil. Which district are we talking about? Um. Ah, shite! Of course, I cannot fucking find it. Siragil. What is the district we are talking about? Western gates. Syringil, Syringil. Um, come on, blow up, blow up. Torin Low, Phil of Thrain. District of Syringil. It's something I hold claim to, I presume. Ay, why is there not. Find. What's. Is this. No, District of. Syringil. Is it a... Oh, right. After 100 years, the realm of the district of Sergil is no longer considered as your part of the kingdom of Artidane. Oh! So... This was supposed to be part of this, but is now considered a part of this kingdom. Okay. Uh, my different vessel, your better loyalty, blah, blah, blah. I truly support your claim. I know that this will reward you, so I'm not getting the claims I'm I'm, I'm requesting. Ugh, my king is an idiot. Um, the crown law has a lot of vassals to which war. Fucking fuck faces! I really start to fucking hate you. You know that, right? Oh great, I become ill. Mainly lowers my health by two. That doesn't really cripple me that much. I think some big nations are at war again. Country claim of Estamor. Yeah, these two claims are really shoot. And I need to attack my king for that. Ugh. Fucking hell. The uh, lag ain't that bad. There is some warring going on. Some Buckland. Idiot. Managed to charge against Arnor. Mm. There is some clear lag going on. That means Mordor is at serious war again. They've got a truce. They've got some... Resistances? It must be the recently conquered territories up here. No, actually that's more internal than I expected. I have imprisoned some furry furry. Can I get the reason why I imprisoned this guy? Who is your liege? My son. Mm 
find some prisoner? Hmm. Prisoners. Oh wait, no, he's been imprisoned by my son. Who were you? You were a nobody. You were a fire bit, though. Well, my, my son should be in full right to do what he needs to do. An arbitrary steward. Well, before we continue, I want to thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Have a very good day. Bye-bye.